Yo, a TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. I'm the man on the stick. And we're playing a Magic Duels. I created my deck. As you can plainly see, it is named The Bruise because it's black and blue, and that's what it's gonna do to you. Alright, we got 60 cards, 16 black cards, 16 blue cards. A nice distribution of a land. I'm feeling confident about this. I did this in about 45 minutes. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, if you want to go through what's actually in it, I'm not going to do that. We're going to find out together. Save changes. Control. Speed, strength, synergy. Not a lot of synergy. But let's, uh... Now that you've created a deck, uh, it's time to put it to use. Check out solo battle to give it a go. Alright, let's do a solo battle with my newly created deck. Let's start with an easy duel. Hit continue to play. Let's put Bruise up for the fight. Nice Kano Jax looking guy. <laughs> like, my dude, you, you need to exfoliate. And you need a haircut. And look at your clothes. What happened to you? He's a black terminator. He's a blurninator. Alright, that was a poor joke as well. Alright, let's see. Mulligans. Don't show me that ever again because I don't plan on ever getting mulligans. Alright, cool. Um, we got this man, we got this, we got her, we got that. Okay, so we will start out with keeping the hand. Put out the blue card. Let them know that we mean business right off the bat. We plan on getting up in them butt cheeks with spells. Oh, he's playing the red blue deck. That is unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to put that out, which gives us carte blanche to put anything we want down. Um... We could hunt for better cards, or we could put down a creature. I say we start with a creature. That's what we need, really. That guy gets stronger just as creatures die. I don't have a whole lot in this deck that kills stuff, but I do got some stuff. Alright, cool. We got a swamp now. Alright, this is, look at the top three cards of your library, put one card into your hand, one on top of your library, and one at the bottom of your library. Alright, I, I mean, I get it, I get what it does, get it out of my face now. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one. Yeah, I like that. Let's get you out. So far, not getting mana screwed, so that's, you know, that's a positive. Let's attack him for one. He's gonna kill it. Two damage divided any way you choose one or two creatures. Alright. That's adorable. Alright, you gonna deal one damage to me? Fair enough. That's why we got Grave Diggers in the deck anyway. That's why we keep the Diggers of the Grave in the deck. Alright, we got the kitten that uh, taps creatures, but we don't need them yet. So what we are going to do is I could dig your grave. Um, let's attack first. Let's see what happens. It may be my best bet to just dig in your grave though. But we'll see what happens after I draw. Because I get to draw a card when that deals damage. Alright, what did that give me? Whenever enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, you may return target creature from your graveyard to, a, to your hand. So you know, that would have been good to have. What? Why are you telling me to cast this? 
I don't care about that. If anything, I'm gonna put this down. I like that. It gets plus one, plus one. I think it's just to the end of turn, right? Yeah, it's only to the end of turn, but it's still cool. I'm cool with that. Okay, what are you gonna do? A grave digger. Never would have guessed. Alright, we got more land. Perfect. That's actually great. We're gonna cast this. Giving that guy a plus one, plus one. And this gives us a chance to look at our cards. Alright, choose a card to put into your hand. I am going to take... Hmm. That guy costs six. I wish I could tell how much mana I had. That brings creatures back, and that kills creatures. Let's put... Let's put this into my hand. Choose a card to put into your hand. Uh-oh, wait, did I do something wrong? Alright, choose a card to put on top of your library. I'll take that. Confirm. Alright, cool. I'm cool with that. And then we will... We're gonna go ahead and tap your boy, too. Tap that. Doesn't untap next turn. Good luck. Then we'll attack. And guess what? I get my 1-1 one, one boy back without having to put a grave digger up. I'll take it, dude. Confirm that. And I draw a card. So yeah, that, that guy is already a friend in my book. What is that? You gotta have an artifact for it to be trampled, but it is a 3-3. Three, three. Not truly concerned about your 3-3. Three, three. To be honest. Alright, so I'm going to cast this boy first. And then here comes the trick. This is what they didn't expect. I'm gonna pay one to destroy this guy. And then choose a creature to sacrifice. We're gonna sacrifice my 2 2. You know why we do that? You'll find out why we do that. For one thing, that guy gets a little bit stronger. Then we attack. This guy deals his two damage, getting me to a card from my graveyard, which is the card I just killed. <laughs> and I draw a card. Oh, and I needed that swamp too. That is a perfect. And then, uh, I mean, yeah, why not, dude? Just cast this guy again. <laughs> and, and lock up his grave digger. <laughs> Your grave digger's locked up. He's locked up. He's not doing anything. He's not digging anybody's grave anytime soon. Uh, Enchanted creature you control. Uh, sacrifice Infernal Fist. Uh, two damage to target creature or player. Alright. Probably gonna kill my, uh... Probably gonna kill my 2-2 two -two that gets stronger. Oh, okay. You have to pay to activate that, right? Yeah, you have to pay to activate that. Um, unfortunately... Uh... Enter your battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. Does not return it to its hand. So he can deal four damage to anything he wants now. Which I'm not a fan of. I think we're going to put the 4-6 out. But this is whenever... Or another creature enters the battlefield under your control. I like that though. 
I think I'm gonna do that to keep him tapped. Cause this will keep his grave digger tapped. Oh come on, dude! Just choose the choose the choose the creature. Yeah. Cause that grave digger right now is a six two, and I'm keeping him locked up. And I'm attacking with everything. And that gets me a creature card out of my graveyard, if I had any. I don't think I do at this point. Mmm, even the kitty got a hit in. That is absolutely perfect. Alright, this guy is a 5-4. Perfect, that's fine, I'm cool with that. He can be 5-4. I knew he was going to kill you. I kind of figured that was going to happen. And he's attacking for 4-2, huh? I'm going to actually take that. Oh, I didn't lock up his... Oh, I didn't lock him up, dude. I should have locked him up. Lock her up. Alright, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, we can bring our creature back, or I could, because I got to cast something in order, oh, look at this, this is cheap, I'll cast this in order to lock up his boy, dude, don't ever show me that again, I'll do that to lock his boy up. That gives me carte blanche. I don't even need to do that though, you know? Like I understand I can. It's an it's a sorcery. That's an enchantment. Uh let's continue. Let's do the attack phase. Oh, you know what? It would have gave me more damage this turn if I had done it that way, but I still think I'm safe. Like, he's, he's not going to do any damage anytime soon. And I get the creature back for free if I do it like this. And I get to draw a card. This costs four. And that's a counter spell. Do I want to hang on to it? Or do I want to make sure I got enough blockers to block them? I think I'll make sure I got enough blockers to block them. And then we will keep this bad boy tapped up. But he untaps immediately. <laughs> Alright, see, it doesn't untap him. Alright, he's gonna kill my 3 3 by sacrificing this one thing. No, he's not gonna kill my 3 3. So, this 2-1 will block that guy. And then I could take 5 or I could take nothing. How about I take nothing? Yeah, that was that was that was inevitable. It's all right though. Alright, we're back though. Um, so, I guess I should cast this. I can take any creature. Uh, give me this thing. Yeah, now I got your creature, fam. What are you gonna do? You're already dead. Yo. All in all, not a super strong deck, but the control aspect of it, man. I took control of the game. I beat the Black Terminator, dude. Arnold Swartz, I'm not even gonna say it. You're, you're a terrible person for thinking it. Alright, let's keep it moving. 
win a duel with a custom deck. Uh, yeah, because it's not my first rodeo. It doesn't have the big creatures of a green deck or the constant life game of a white deck, but... Black, blue. Mmm. It's like a fine wine. New quests are available every day. Alright, continue. Uh... Alright, let's... Are you sure you want to refresh this quest? Nah, dude, I don't want to do any of that. I want to do battle mode some more. Let's do that. Play a skill quest or skip? Uh, sure. Let's play a skill quest. No, I don't want to do this. It's a training bot again, dude. I don't want to play with you. Training bot? No. I didn't even know I was in a party. No, training bot. Stop. Can I leave? Planeswalker cards. I don't, dude. Shut the front door, dude. Okay. The... In, look. Let's quit the squill quest. Yes, I'm sure I want to do that. We are going to go to a battle mode, dude. If you don't stop solo battle, that's what I want. Easy, medium. I think we're ready for a medium difficulty. Oh my god, he has horns in his head and a dragon on his shoulder. It's just like, it's like, it's, it's a little over top in the, in the Magic the Gathering world. <laughs> like, do these people have dinner? Do they go on dates? Or is it just constantly waving their hands and making sigils on, like, mythical creatures? It's like it just doesn't have any normalcy to it, so it, it's 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 a little it's a little daunting to me. I like to get into the lore, at least. All right, fam. Whose turn is it now, mine? Stupidest mistake you ever made. I'm gonna cast this first turn because it doesn't matter. It comes in the play tap regardless. Yeah, I can't cast anything. All right, my turn. We're going to go... Uh, look, don't you ever show me that again. I understand how first strike and haste work. We're going to put the bats out. He's playing blue-red. It's funny, because blue-black is the most beautiful thing ever created. Blue-red, pure evil. You might as well be a Scientologist if you're playing blue-red. His Thetan count is skyrocketed as soon as he put that 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 mountain next to that island. But I'm not concerned, dude. What what is this? Untap another target permanent. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I get it. Yeah, you can have that. You can have that guy. That's fine. Does he tap for you to do that? Let me just look at it real quick. He does tap. He will also be dehydrated as soon as I get an opportunity to. All right, let's put that out. And then let, let's put out Baby Girl. I love this lady. She's a beautiful creature. She does really good things for me. I should probably see if I have another one of her in here because she, she's not bad. The whole when she does damage draw card thing. Alright, good stuff. Take your damage. I do have some enchantments that I can put on that guy. I might put this enchantment on him just so I can get my creatures back. But as it stands right now, what is this? Draw two cards. What is What good is that going to do you? That doesn't amount to a hill of beans. Draw your entire deck. Put your entire deck in your hand. You're still bound to lose, sir. Alright. We are going to make things interesting by putting this on him now. And then we'll attack. Just with, just with our flyer. Because he'll most definitely block if I uh, were to attack with my 2-4. Alright, if I had any creatures in my graveyard, they'd be back in my hand, but I don't. 
because this guy's deck is unbelievably slow. Okay, alright. Oh, a flyer. Okay, alright, I see you. Would you like for him to be dehydrated? Consume water. Okay, getting a lot of mana now. I mean, that's not exactly what I was going for here, but it, it's cool. Let's bring out, let's bring out our body carrier. What are you doing? Why are you untapping land? That's not what people do. People don't do that usually. All right, so I've dealt three damage to him. <clears throat> I'm probably going to dehydrate his attacker. Oh no, I got to dehydrate his uh his flyboy. He's attacking with both of them. Ha. Huh. Ha ha ha. His intentions are to do massive amounts of damage. I'm going to block with this boy. And uh I'll probably block with the the bats as well. I know how to do the game game. Don't tell me how to game. I want that guy dead. Alright, I'll take the three. And then what are you gonna cast? Something crazy? Something crazy. What is this? Flying and emblem, emblemen, embalm. Exile this card from your graveyard. Create a token that is a copy of it, except it is a white zombie. Oh, no. Okay, sure. You sure showed me a thing or two. Hey, more land. Great. Just what I always wanted. All right. Well, you know what? We gotta we gotta dehydrate him. He's gotta get really really thirsty now. So now that boy doesn't untap, and I'll attack you with a two four. Take your two. Give me a card and make it something other than a mana, please. You know, another mana, that's fine, too. All right, we're still winning as it stands right now. He, we're going to take three. This is going to bring us down to 14. He's going to cast something that... Six, five? Cryptid Circuit costs one less to cast for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard. You have one. Okay, Cryptic Serpent. A six, five. I mean, sure. Why not, dude? Why not just have a 6-5? Look, game, does it really matter what I cast at this point? <laughs> ah! Alright. Uh, that Cryptic Circuit is, is a bit of a problem. I'm not even going to lie to you. Cryptic, cryptic Serpent, a bit of an issue. We're going to go ahead and pass... All right, he's gonna attack me with the with the. Okay, he's attacking with both of those. I'm going to kill his other flyer with my two first strikers. Boom! I think that's the idea, and then block the cryptic serpent with my baby girl who I love. But I don't take any damage except now it deals four damage to target creature, and I actually do take damage. And he kills my other boy. He's killed all of my creatures. Alright, well, you know, like, if I were a lesser gamer, <laughs> the panic was set in around now. But unfortunately, you're dealing with TNT Dynamite and the, and the, and the panic never sets in. Are you countering my spell? Oh god, okay. You know what? Now, now there's some panic. A little bit of panic. 
He's going to attack me for nine, which means that I have two turns to do something. One turn to do something. I have to get a game-changing card right here or I die next turn. That ain't it, fam. <laughs> that ain't it. That, that is not it. That is not the card to change things. It is, it is, however, the card that he's going to counter it again. Okay, well. All right. <sighs> Whew. Well, that was a rough one. First one worked really good, man. I don't understand. Well, either way. <laughs> dude, why are you casting? Just, just, just end it, dude. End my pain. End my suffering. Looks like he bruised us up. Black and blue. We're going to have to take out some land and maybe put in some some stronger cards. I'm going to do a quick revision of the deck. But thank you for joining me on our first defeat. Uh, this is TNT Dynamite of Crazy Town. Remember to like, share, subscribe. And uh, until the next time, I'm out.